Adventure. I was looking around this room and I thought, what a brilliant room for adventure because one of the things for me, adventure is when you're travelling, new experiences, finding new things and in this room there's so many lovely little knickknacks and bits and pieces yeah. and, uh, and I thought, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm like somewhere different really. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things I think, you know, for me, adventure is about something new, something different. I think, again, it, it, for me, it comes back to your mindset, you know. It's like anything, isn't it? It can be a gift or a curse. So, you know, somebody travelling and, and doing, a, 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 you know, a particular um, travel or distance, they could have a mindset of, oh, you know, this is just going to be a hassle, it's going to be this, da, 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 where someone else is like, oh, this is wonderful, I wonder what, you know, what's going to happen, what it's going to be like. So, what about you? What does adventure bring up for you? What sort of things? Fun, Fun? yeah. Can you just take the stimulation? Yeah. Stimulation? Yeah. Yeah. Stimulation. yeah. <laughs> New Horizons. Yeah, it stimulates the core of you, I think. Because I think we're here to live that joyous adventure. We isn't isn't that. We, we we say, don't we? Life's an adventure, mm. you know. And again, it's it does come down to your mindset. It can be a very pleasant adventure, or it can be, you know, we all have ups and downs, and there's dips along the way, but. Adventure, not adventure, but venture, the word mm. adventure, yeah. isn't it? Sort of like yeah. a journey yeah. itself. Yeah. Definitely. Risk. Risk? Mm. 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 Where are you going? Yeah. Travel into the unknown. The unknown? Yeah, trekking. Tricky? Trekking. 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 Let's put that up here. I don't know, how do you spell that? Is it double K or just one? On that same subject then, New Frontiers. I've got New Horizons. I think it's childlike, isn't it? But as in the what we lose sight of when you think of a child has an adventure, whether they're eating a biscuit or jumping in a puddle, mm -hmm. yeah. or playing with their mates or whatever it is, and mm -hmm. that's where we sort of get so squashed mm -hmm. and become grey and Monday mm -hmm. colourful, colourful. Mm -hmm. It's casket, you know, sort of the adventure is sort of myriads of. Um, Simulations, feelings, um, sound sites, yeah. Yeah. Sensations, yeah. Picking up the work from the master class play. Yeah. Yeah. Anticipation. So learning as well. Comes out with some long words, stunning me. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Yeah. Oh, did you? All yeah. oh, right, okay. Why did we all shy away from risk? Because for me, the only all, all of that stuff is kind of fun. But for me, an adventure is only if you overcome something that you're only going to get that if you get it from some form of risk. Mm. But I, I'd go so so far as say, if you're not actually scared and you're going to go and do it, it's not an adventure. I mean, it's scared to remember it. Yeah, and then you overcome something. Well, it's, it's scary and exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So does it take? It takes courage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's. It's got. It's got to take courage. You've got to. Mm. You've got to overcome something. It's like it's 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 that premise. What would be the opposite of adventure? Safe distance. Safety. 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 Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 For adults to have an adventure, and if you go back to the child, it's natural. <coughs> but it's still an adventure. It's still scary. It's still they're not scared by it, are they? Yes, they are. Mm. You'll 
find children who get the most mm. incredible fun out of jumping in the puddle, but the concept of jumping in the puddle scares them rigid. <laughs> you will see this. Fine, okay. Ooh, so it can still scare them. <laughs> Whereas others are quite gung ho, aren't they? They just yeah, they're, they're, they're up trees falling off and breaking yeah. legs. Yeah, yeah. So well, you know, so you're only born with one or two fears, aren't you? Know, all that. So then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, now you're scared of the concept is because maybe you've seen an adult. Say, well, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, the person yeah. 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 doesn't yeah. learn. That's it. It's not. Really not scared. 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 The kids aren't. Babies aren't. They're not scared. The concept of scare is insinuating. It's it's the it's yeah. Yeah, it was quite a noise, quite a noise, quite a noise. But then, but then there's more of a protection thing, yeah? yeah. Whereas most other things scare is like, oh, I will be hurt, or I will be disabled, or I will be less than as a result of or this Or is thing. it just that they don't know what the result will be? No, I don't think they care, that's, that's, the they that's the adventure, is the journey of ex the experience. But some children are analytical, Ooh, they're they born are. analytical. Mm -hmm. Mm. Why did we go on the big dipper? We go on, I, I remember yeah. going up, 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 and thinking, yeah, no, I'm not going to go It's too late. Yeah. 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 Why did I do this? Yeah. 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 It's the experience, isn't it? Because we want to shut ourselves off. I've got a question to start an inquiry. What adventures are you taking on like as a as a conscious, you know, a conscious exercise in your own life? What adventures are you, are you taking on right now that give you all that excitement aspect of risk? Like in real life, not conceptually. Yeah. Mm. I'll kind of turn it on its head and say, what adventures are you doing without thinking about it? Yeah. And just doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And two, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's quite interesting you just saying that. The first thing that came to my mind is I've got a lot of changes going on in my life and that's quite a big adventure. Yeah. Um, you know, moving house, yeah. Spain, you know, there's lots, but to me, I don't find it scary. I just feel, yeah, it's an it's an adventure. It's going to be fun. Um, Is it perception? Because some people might just call that life. Whereas I would be with you, I'd say, yeah, this is an adventure. Going through the same, it's an adventure. Mm. It's exciting. It's, uh, you know. Mm. I mean, you know, driving to Spain in the summer with two dogs, never done it before, you know, long way to go. But to me, I just saw it as an adventure. It was, you know, whereas, you know, other people you speak to, it's like, oh, you know, I've got to drive all the way back and all this. And I'm like, <laughs> but, you know, you're seeing new things, you're meeting new people, you're, you know, new experiences. Yeah. I mean, that's nice. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. <coughs> about having a heightened awareness of what's going on. Yeah. Sorry, Colin. Heightened awareness. Yeah. yeah. So, so it could be something you've never done before, but you could also just be practicing with a new set of But you know, this, this this just goes to show how different we all are, isn't it? And we, you know, and we look at things, you know, it's quite simple things. They might be quite simple to other people, but for me, it's an adventure just doing those things. Um, you know, just the other day when I was uh, driving back to the airport from um, in in Spain, I was on my own, and I was driving back to the airport on my own and I thought to myself, oh my God, eight years ago, I couldn't leave my house. I could not leave my house, let alone get in a car and drive. So to me, that was an adventure. It was, you know, I, I was overcoming, you know, some, not, not um, consciously, because I wasn't thinking, oh, I, you know, I don't want to do this. But yeah, looking back, it was like, wow, what an adventure, you know, how lucky am I that I can do this and, and, and experience this. Um, give me something like jumping out of a plane or whatever, no way. <laughs> that I don't see as an adventure. Why not? That would scare the life out of me. Because of my beliefs and my mindset, it's just, it's just, you know, I'm not scared of the jumping, I'm scared of the falling or, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's, you know, I, I look at it, you know, maybe in a few years' time I will be comfortable with doing that because, you know... Oh, my mum used to say that and then I bought it for her birthday and made her do it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, and, and she, she, changed, she changed from saying, 
uh, one day I'll do it to I could have done that, but now I'm too old, so I'm going to it for them. Did she do it? Yes, yeah, she did, and my dad as well, and it scared, it scared the day. And it really changed their outlook on life. Yeah. So I'd, rec I'd recommend, actually, if, if you've never done a skydive, to go and do one. Have you done one? Four hundred or so, but it is not. <laughs> oh. But those first few, once you, you get over it really quickly, but it's the the first time you do it, mm. it's life changing. Yeah. I mean, the moment that you're on the edge of the plane, you think, it's fucking what? And yeah. it's that unknown. Oh, that you and you're someone to nudge you. I can imagine you know, if you do, on, once you've done it, like I'd, I'd be like, I want to go again. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Thanks.